Hey guys, Sherpo here. Here to do a quick, not really quick, but um, August airport update. It's on August 29th at 7.30 p.m. during some severe um, thunderstorms, actually, right before, like around 5 ish. So it's really delaying flights, backing them up. So I'm just gonna get started away because I have a low battery and I don't wanna be talking forever to bore you so um here and then also every single plane is at a the gates actually at real life too except for a few exceptions because i don't have like a t5 and the few here i don't have like all the gates that they have or the right types because i just don't have all the room but yeah they're basically at the right spot so I have a Lufthansa 748 that came from Frankfurt um, five minutes early at 7.10 and it departs at 10.30 p.m. And it's going to be heading back to T1 to board either B16 or B17. Air France 3340, they actually flew the 3340 today, that's kind of why I did this. So I could put Air France in there because it's seasonal, it's kind of cool. But um, they usually fly 330s, but okay, so they did the 3340 today. And this one came in, this flight 144, at 6.24 p.m. Um, but I had to wait a long time to get a gate because the gates are really backed up and it's going to leave at 810. It's getting carried right now. Qatar 777-300 heading out to um, Doha, of course, at 745. Um, delayed by a half hour. Um, Luthans 8400 pulling the gate from Munich. Going to be heading over to T1 after it gets deboarded for, um, or after deboarding finishes to um, leave back out back off to Munich at either gate B16 or 17. Um, Air Lingus A330 came in from uh, Dublin five minutes late. A330-200. Turkish um, 777-300 came in nine minutes early at 551 from Istanbul. Emirates 777-300. This one came in at 5.30 p.m. but I had to wait a little bit for a gate. This one actually came in from Milwaukee because it got diverted to Milwaukee. It actually happened in real life. Um, this one, a and a and a few other ones, like um, this heavy um, United's and um, Americans from um, like Europe and um, Asia, but other other ones are very much like different airports, not all to Milwaukee. But yeah, this one came from Milwaukee from the diversion. Um, so it's really late and it's um, gonna be the parade 35 minutes later, 9.05. So then catch up a little bit on that. American 777-200 came in from London Heathrow um, 54 minutes early at 701. Because it left like 15 minutes early, which is really surprising to actually do that. Um, BA-747-1 World, they actually flew this one here today twice. And this one arrived at 613, I think it was twice, pretty sure. But um, this one arrived at 613 and it's going to depart at 835, obviously London Heathrow. So T1 B Concourse. Let's get right off the 737-700, leaving 20 minutes late for Santa Ana. Um, 738 United, flight 1655 to cancel LaGuardia due to um, severe weather conditions. United A320, leaving 2 hours and 9 minutes late for DC, around Reagan. Um, 753 United, going to be leaving an hour and 27 minutes late at 9 o'clock for LAX. Um, 738 United, going to be, um, not focusing really, eh, that's fine, um, going to be leaving two hours and 15 minutes late for Denver, it's 9.35 p.m., United 777-200, gate B16, heading out to Paris, Charles de Gaulle, um, it'll be leaving, uh, two hours and 15 minutes late at 8.30 p.m., and then 8 through 19, United, um, leaving two hours and one minute late at 9.30 p.m. for Des Moines, or Des Moines, I think it's Des Moines. Um, C concourse, gate C1. We have a CRJ 700 that's got canceled to Tulsa due to severe weather in the route and the whole, just basically the whole area. C3, we have uh, no aircraft. There's supposed to be CRJ 700 here, but it's four hour, running four hours and 44 minutes late from Grand Rapids. Um, C there. C4, we have a CRJ 700 United Express 
This one will be, or this one's actually canceled at St. Louis due to the same issue with this one. Um, severe weather in the route in the whole area. Uh, 739 United. This one will be heading an hour and 55 minutes late from Minneapolis, St. Paul. Um, 767-300 United, um, heading out to Sao Paulo at, uh, 8.55, I think. Yes, yeah, so it's, yeah, um, 10 minutes late due to, um, just, uh, the flight preparations are running a little late. Um, 7.39 United, this one is, uh, heading... Oh, where is this one heading? Uh, let me just skip that one for right now. But, um, we have an E320 right here. That's leaving an hour and 12 minutes late at 8.52 for, um, uh, where is this one heading out to? Sacramento. Um, we have a... <coughs> 752 right here. This one is um, Sorry about this. I don't know everything's got deleted. This one is arriving four hours and 31 minutes late from Denver due to ATC conditions um, 763 right here um, This one's gonna be heading out to London Heathrow an hour and 28 minutes late at 748 Um I have to see, uh, which one did I not do? The 739, I don't think. But, um, it's gonna be leaving 12 minutes late for LAX. Or, yeah, 12 minutes late for LAX. Um, triple seven right here. This one will be heading out to Brussels. Um, it's gonna be leaving an hour and 20 minutes late at, um, it's supposed to leave at seven, or it was gonna be 710, but it's still late. It's running out. Um, late A through 20 right here heading out to Jackson Hole at um, 9.43 p.m. It's running 2 hours and 20 minutes late 28 minutes late A through 20 United and everything just restarted one second guys. I'm really sorry about this um, A through 20 United right here This one is heading out 41 minutes late for LaGuardia and then A319, that would be heading out um, hour 27 minutes late for Toronto. Um, let's go over here to gate H2. We have American Eagle CRJ 700. That will be leaving hour 10 minutes late at 9.10 p.m. for Northwest Arkansas. I'm sorry, this isn't focus. There. Uh, they didn't actually fly this one today, but I couldn't find my... Um, like just regular Alaska 738. They usually do a 739, but I don't have a 739, so I just threw this one in here. It's kind of cool. So, um, yo, this one's gonna be hit. This one's backing out right now. Three minutes late for Seattle, gate H4. And then at um, H5, 73 American, leaving hour 25 minutes late for um, St. Louis. Another 738 next to it, old colors, 24, eight minutes late for Seattle, Tacoma. At gate H9, we have a, another 7.3. This one will be heading out 44 minutes late for LaGuardia. 8 through 21. I always fight at the real times, like always, too. So this is basically what's happening right now at 7.30 p.m. With, you know, got, I don't have old, because I don't have old planes. But, yeah. So 8 through 21 right here. Hour 1 minute late for LAX. Uh, E145. I don't even know why I had the E145 in here. But, um... Let's just say it's pushing out right now for Green Bay. Uh, I actually forgot to move this one, but let's just say it's leaving for Green Bay. Uh, seventh Street American right here. This one's leaving 56 minutes late for Ronald Reagan, um, Washington, D.C. And another seventh three, 22 minutes late for another one for LaGuardia. There's a lot of LaGuardias. It's actually, I think it's the number one, or busiest, yeah, number one busiest route, uh, Chicago. Overall, <clears throat> oh here seven eight American. 
This one will be heading out to Manchester um, at 9.50 on time. That's the first for today, basically. <laughs> um, 777-300 right here, uh, 49 minutes late for London Heathrow. And it's going to be now leaving at 9.14 p.m. Um, over here we have E145 um, heading out to Traverse City. Um, how late is this one? It's going to be leaving at 10.11 p.m. E175 American Eagle right here leaving for New Orleans um, at 10 o'clock p.m. Speed A319. I don't have any 320s, so I just substitute them both with A319s. But I don't even think anyone makes the A320, which is kind of stupid. Actually, they might with the Sharklets, but I don't have any of them. But I had to substitute with the two A319s I have. But this one's canceled to Baltimore, Washington. Probably due, well, most likely, yeah, due to thunderstorms. Um, and, you know, it's just Spirit. They're terrible. <laughs> um, Spirit. 8th and 19, leaving two hours, 15 minutes late for Houston at 9.31 p.m. So that was the entire airport update. Um, that took 11 minutes and 20 seconds. So I thought I went pretty fast, but apparently it didn't go as, or too much faster. But yeah, that was the whole airport update. Yes, I'm going to try to do a Kahului airport update. I know I've said it like a thousand times over the last five months basically but I'm gonna honestly try to do one I just never really remember to do it but um yeah I'll try to and then my new airport when he throw that building um I don't have too much done on that but I'm just hoping 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 to be done by sometime in September and then airport updates on that and that's gonna be the best airport by far of all the ones I have now or ever made it's gonna be awesome so stay tuned for that but yeah, hope you enjoyed the Chicago here. And um, actually, I forgot one plane. Scandinavian E330 from Stockholm. It is just sitting here waiting for an open gate, like, like a lot of these did, because things are just, you know, thunderstorm over the airport, so planes couldn't really leave. And it's just, everything's kind of running behind. Stuff's arriving late, so planes just got wait for gates. But um, yeah. So, hope you enjoy the update. Um, yeah, see you guys in the next video.